All right, so this is gonna be the pad for one of our modular shelters. This is gonna be a 10 by 30 foot bunker, but the overall length is actually 42 feet long. But uh, we got the crane in place. And we're gonna pull the bunker in here right now. Look how that thing's big. We're gonna pull the bunker in here right now and get this thing set before it gets dark because the sun's setting. It goes one foot from the back end, 12 inches from the side on each side, and 12 inches back in from the back side. All right, he's who's got a tape? Like it's gonna be on TV and, and our name's on the crane. I just got to say, like that. You know where you want it down there, don't you? Hey, don't put your foot underneath it, you'll lose your other toenail. Right there. Hold on a second. Get you a boat ready. Let me see spud range. I hope it doesn't fall. Hey, West, don't bust your fat ass. 
But anyway, you guys see that galvanized air pipe right there? That's uh, that's actually letting the air out. That's coming out of the generator pod room. Let me show you guys something that makes every Atlas shelter badass. You see this six inch galvanized air pipe? First of all, it's not gonna rust, but you see at the bottom of this pipe, that's the check valve. So if somebody tries to pour gas into this air pipe, it goes straight into the ground. Okay, is anybody else down there? Nobody? Okay. Because the generator pod with the air pipe and the uh, condensation air pipe the big hats at the uh, generator room. It's been coated. All right, so what we did is we sandblasted the shelter and we went ahead and coated it with carboline, uh, which is a two-part rubberized epoxy coating on the exterior to prevent corrosion. All right, so what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna go ahead and put wood forms all the way around the shelter and we're gonna pour 12 inches of 4,000 PSI concrete all the way around the sides and over the roof. All right, so that pipe right there is the escape tunnel that leads from the uh, back wall up to the surface in case the front door gets blocked off. All right, so I'm walking around the shelter checking it, but we're getting ready to form this up and pour the concrete in the dark. All right, just so you guys understand, this customer is going to build a house over this bunker. So this area, this entire area is going to be covered in concrete. Now I'm going to show you this ballistic hat. So you've got to pull a, there's a lock in here. You take the lock off. Take the lock out of there. Okay. And then you back up. And then the hat. open up by itself and then you got the stairs you go down the stairs it's a little dirty right now because you can tell it's still under construction but then you go down the side of the shelter to the stairs and you got all these crazy doors down here so going back up that's what you see looking up it's got four hydraulic lifts on it this one does anyway it's actually too many probably this thing would raise a tank Anyway, thought you enjoyed seeing this hatch. Put your knee on it. There you go. See, it's hydraulically lifted. Matter of fact, we need to take one of the hydraulics off. It's a little too much. Yeah. So hook it in there. All right, so this is the nuclear blast hatch for the stairs for an Atlas survival shelter. Now they're going to pour the foundation for the house and they've already got the plumbing run from the bunker and the electrical and uh, that will lead down the stairs into the wine cellar. And uh, they're gonna form up and start to do the foundation. Now they've already got all the plumbing run. So it's ready to go. All right, so this is the bunker I've been doing on Valentine's Day 2018. We're filming a TV episode in here. So you got this uh, door right here, which is leads to the generator room. And you've got to go through this gas tight door here into the decontamination room it's got a shower and a second door and then you're into this bunker this is the bathroom it's got an uphill flushing toilet and mirror and it's a regular bathroom and uh, this is like a living room and then this is the kitchen believe it or not we're underground right now in a bunker it's really nice isn't it Behind that thing is a gun cabinet and uh, an air system, and behind that door is the escape tunnel. But uh, we did everything to make this thing look anything but a bunker. Yeah. So it's got hidden compartments. Um, it's got a full bathroom in here. 
comes with a shower. camera guy. Yeah, it comes with a camera guy. Got these badass doors, decontamination room. Got a generator room over here. And then uh, up the stairs, okay? Thought you might enjoy seeing what I've been doing. Okay, so this see you later. Shut.